Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be trying out the microwave flower press by Abu FX. Of course, I reviewed the wooden flower press a few weeks ago, which I was really um, pleased with. Um, this is their microwave flower press. So let me just explain what you get um, in the box. Um, this is what the box looks like. Um, I've taken everything out. So you get the flower press itself, which is um, heavy duty um, plastic um, held together um, like, like this. So that's what um, that looks like. Two clips that you can um, put on on either end. And then you also get, whoops, Daisy, one of my flowers has gone flying. You can see that I'm already prepared. You get um, two really thick um, wool felt pads. Um, so two of these and four 100% cotton twill sheets um, as well. And the idea is um, now two of these you'll need to press your flowers. Two are just spare. So let me just put two off to one side and the idea is um, that you put your felt in the flower press itself let me just um, show you how to do this let's um, open it up put it around the right way so that is going to go in there like that one of the cotton sheets is then going to go on top my flowers are then going to go on top of the um, sheet followed by another sheet and then my my felt pad and then of course everything is going to be sandwiched together and we are going to put this into the microwave using short bursts. Now let's have a look at the um, instructions because this is really important. Most flowers need more than one burst in the microwave to get dry um, and that is, is definitely true for sure um, and it's really important that you do that as well. Drying time is dependent on the power of the microwave microwave and the moisture content of each flower. Drying is done in multiple short bursts instead of doing one last, la, uh, long burst. As I've said, that's really important. Making pressed flowers needs several um, times practice and then you'll get the hang of it because some flowers are just going to take longer than, than others to dry in the microwave. The most common mistake is using too long a pressing time in the microwave, which causes the cotton lining cloth and felt pads to burn. Trust me, I speak from experience. Experience. And I'll talk more about um, that at the end of the, the video because I've tried one of one of these before. So um, priming the fill pack. The fill pack um, is this little um, bundle bundle here. When first using your Abu FX pressing kit or when the felt pads have dried out during storage, they should be primed by spraying or sprinkling some water on the fabric sheets. Then placing the assembled press in the microwave oven for 10 to 15 seconds on full power by keeping a certain amount, amount of moisture in the pads, the risk of burning a flower will be reduced. So so let's do that. So what I am going to do is just grab my um, Tim Holtz spray. Here we go. Let's just um, let's just pop pop some water on, and I'm just going to my uh, going to go to my microwave and just put this on as it says for 10 to 15 seconds. I think 10 seconds should be more than adequate. That has been in my microwave for 10 seconds, so I'm just going to take it um, apart now, and I'm just and it feels warm already just after 10 seconds. So what I will do now is fill it with some flowers. Now I've been keeping mine in the fridge, um, just because we are in the midst of um, um, a really um, <laughs> crippling, shall I say, heat wave here in the UK. So everything is um, wilting in my garden. But you can see that I've picked some flowers. Um, in fact, actually, um, let's pick out the ones that I've already prepared. I've got these huge daisies. Look at these that I picked from the side of the road. Um, so I'm just going to press these face down on my, my mats. Here we are. Um, then I'm just going to pop my second cloth on top, then my felt pad, close my lid and then I'm just going to hold my press together using the clips that are provided. And what I'm going to do then is put this in the microwave. Now, what does it say? It says um, to put it in in short bursts um, initially for, let's have a look, pressing times, initially for um, 45 seconds um, or 30 seconds for a 750 watt um, microwave, 20 seconds for a 900 watt, and then secondary burst should be a 
about one third of the initial burst. So I think what I'm going to do is put mine in for 30 seconds and we'll see what it looks like after, after that. Here we are. I am now at my microwave and I'm just going to pop this inside now. My microwave, as you can see, is really small. I'm going to put it on for the 30 seconds, um, which is suggested, and press start. And this is about to go ping in three, two, one. And let's take this out. Now, it's already quite warm, so you know, be, be careful. Let me just um, push my microwave out of the way. So let's open it up and let's take a look. Um, be really careful if you're doing this, just to make sure that you don't burn yourself. And let's see what my flowers um, look like. Now, I can tell that these are not um, dry, dry yet. You can tell when they're um, dry or not. And it's um, mainly the middle part that still needs some um, extra time. So I am just going to pop this straight back in the microwave. And they recommend that you put it back in for 10 to 15 second bursts. Because I put mine in for 30 seconds um, initially, I'm going to put this back in for 10 seconds. Let's just open it up um, again and see how, how this has done. Yep, and I th still think that needs some more time. So I'm just going to pop this back in again. And this might seem a bit of a faff, but you know, at the end of the day, this is a few seconds and you've got um, instantly dried flowers. I'm going to pop, pop this back in for another 10 um, seconds. Let's open it up um, again and see what we've, um, we've got. And let me just um, have a feel. You see, that feels pr uh, pretty dry to me. Just look at, look at that. Um, you know, my stems are nice and um, stable. Let's have a look at the um, other one as well. And I think I'm just going to pop that now inside a heavy book um, just to keep it nice and flat. I decided to stick them in for another 10 seconds. And I think that was the right thing to do. They're just slightly drier. I don't want to put them in for any longer than that because I don't want them to burn. Let's try some more flowers. I've got this beautiful thistle, um, which I'm going to have an attempt to dry. We've got um, a couple of these. What else have we got? I've got my um, little basket of, of flowers here. As I say, everything is starting to wilt just because of the extreme temperatures here, but we'll give this um, a go. I've got one of, one of these. Oh, hang on a second. So I'm just going to see if I can squeeze this in as well. You don't want your flowers to, to touch. So try and space them as best as you can. Let's pop that one um, upside upside down and then try and sandwich sandwich this together. Let's get, get rid of that one there because we haven't got um, room for it. Oh, and you can see that this one has got um, a mind of its own. It's trying to escape. Let's put the wool felt on top and sandwich my little parcel together. And I'm just going to put this in initially for 30, 30 seconds because this, this is the first burst. So 10, 20, 30. Let's open this up and see how, how this is doing. And you can see that these are still um, really, really wet. So I'm just going to pop these in for a ten, another two 10 second um, bursts. This has had two 10 second bursts. And let's have a look and see how this one is doing. I can tell that my flowers are still quite wet and not dry yet. So I'm just going to put it in for another 10 seconds. Look at these, I think these are ready now. They feel nice and dry. They're nice and um, stable. Let me show you these. Um, nothing has, has burnt. These are still still quite chunky, um, but you know, they're chunky, chunky flowers. Let me just show you this one, this one here as well. But how beautiful. Let me just show you what happens with some of these. Some of them are prone to sticking and all you need to do is just pull your fabric and they will pop straight off. These are lavenders. They smell absolutely beautiful. This one here is stuck as well. And, and this one. So, you know, just pull your fabric. 
because the fabric is flexible just to release them from your pad. Same with this one, this one here. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? I'm back at my desk and I must have spent about half an hour stood at my microwave with my microwave flower press. And let me just show you all of the beautiful specimens I've got. Um, of course, here are my wonderful daisies. Um, I've got my beautiful um, cow parsleys here. Love these, um, love this large one. Um, and look how nice and flat these are, despite how bulky um, they are. They've come out nice and flat. Um, need to think of a really good project um, for these. Um, I've got these ones here love this um this grass as well these ones um my lavenders absolutely um love these they smell absolutely beautiful love this um purple flower here too the petals um fell off this one just as i was um putting it into the flower press but you know as you've seen in previous videos i can easily glue this um, back together i also tried some poppies as well and um a fuchsia and look how vibrant the colors are we haven't lost any color from any of these um these are hydrangea petals and these little purple ones here are just ones that i've picked from the side of the um, road um, also some petals off a larger plant that I found in my garden and a few leaves. At the beginning of the video I mentioned how careful you have to be about putting your flower press into the microwave for really short bursts. Um, the, I mentioned as well that um, I'd also had some previous experience with a microwave flower press. I bought the Microfleur, which was the first original microwave flower press. I've had mine for about four years. Um, both of these are nine inches, although this one looks a lot smaller. Um, but it's just because this one is, is square. So you can see nine inches. This one is nine inches as well. But of course, this one here has got much more rounded corners. And believe me, this is a brilliant, brilliant brilliant thing. Let me just put this one um, to one side and open this one up. Now the difference with the microfleur is it has four clips. Um, it is also um, consists of two flat plates where of course this one here is, is hinged on, on one side so you can see the hinge um, here. I find the Abu FX one much easier to use but you will see I burnt mine. Um, the plastic um, is the same kind of plastic. This one here is much lighter. This one, you know, much heavier. Nowhere near as well ventilated. Again, let me just bring this one back. I know I'm doing a, a lot of toing and froing here. Um, look how big the holes are here. It provides an awful lot of ventilation, whereas the holes on this one here are really small. Now, my microwave, I would say, is a medium size and my plate is nice nine and a half by nine and a half inches whereas this is nine inches square and this will not rotate um, and at the time I purchased this there was no information um, on Amazon from Microfleur or even um, on their website sort of stating um, which size was was bet, uh, best for which particular microwave they do two sizes by the way they do the nine inch and a five inch whereas Abu FX also do um, a 6.3 um, inch one um, but you can see that I burnt mine just because it would not rotate. Um, look at this. I mean, I could well have set um, my house on, on fire. This one here, in my opinion, is so dangerous. And I wish, and I've heard as well, um, I thought it was me being completely stupid, but having checked out today on Amazon, there are loads of reviews from other people as well saying that they've had a similar problem with theirs and lots of pictures showing burn marks because, you know, the same has happened to them as well. Lots of people saying that, you know, it just won't rotate. So they've ended up having to cut the corners um, off their um, microwave flower presses. This is not practical at all. So in my opinion, the Abu FX one is far superior and a lot cheaper. This one here today retails at £65 for the nine inch flower press, whereas this one is £39. So I know it's expensive, but you know, I sat at my microwave um, today and in the space of half an hour, you could see how many flowers I had manage to press. This one here is a complete pain in the neck. It takes so much longer, which I think is due to the lack of ventilation. You can see how small the holes are. And I regret, I absolutely regret um, buying this. And it was why I was so interested in reviewing the one by Abu FX, um, just because I'd had such um, a horrible experience with, with this one here. As of today, Microfleur on Amazon say that you can use the nine inch press in a smaller oven, but we recommend 
cutting the pressing time um, a bit for each burst. I dispute that because I still think it's dangerous and it burns because it doesn't rotate properly. Um, it also says that you need a microwave plate of 12 inch diameter to fit the 9 inch flower press, um, whereas the Abu FX fits um, perfectly well and rotates absolutely fine on my 9.5 inch um, plate. So I just find that it's much more practical. Let's make something just to give you some idea as to how you can use these dried flowers. I've got a piece of text paper left over from one of my Daphne's Diary magazines. Um, I've also got a piece of craft cardstock. Let me just tell you what this measures because I know I'm bound to be asked. This is approximately um, four and a half inches by two and three quarter inches. I'm just going to apply some um, glue stick just over the back um, and stick this down to the to the paper. So I've applied my glue. Now this is the side I want to show. So I'm just going to pop it onto the back. Yep, slide it down maybe a little bit and just press this down and then I'm just going to cut um, around the, the edges. That's my little tag. Now I've pulled out a couple of different flowers. I could, of course, use this one here. I love the two-tone um, effect of this background, by the way. So I could use this one here. That would be absolutely beautiful. Um, but I also like the simplicity of these two small flowers here. Now, how did I have this when I was um, playing around with it um, earlier? bit like that I think. Um, first of all before I do anything I just want to ink around the edge of my tag with some frayed frayed burlap distress ink. So we'll do this not too much and then I've pulled out some of my Anita's tacky glue and what I'm going to do is just put um, a dollop of this just on my parchment paper I'm going to spray it with a bit of water as well just to thin it down um, just a tad I'm just trying to decide which orientation I want my flowers. Just make sure that you've got them the right way round. That's the back and that's definitely the front. So let's stick this one down first. And what I'm going to do is just apply a good layer of this glue on the back of my flower. Just being gentle over the leaves, of course. We want the whole lot to be glued in place over the stem. Um, and, you know, if we get any overspill onto the background here, it will dry clear anyway. And then let's pop, pop this in place. There we are. Stick that one down, down first. And then we'll apply glue to this one here as well in the same way. Let me just um, move that over just so that you can see what I'm doing. As I've said, it's a good idea to thin your um, your glue down first, otherwise it's just too thick and gloopy to deal with. And let's pop that in place as well. You've got wiggle room. I've got a couple of squares of deli paper. I'm just going to sandwich this, pop one underneath, one on top. And I'm just going to place a heavy book um, on Both top. My flowers are dry and I think that's really pretty. I'm going to set that off to one side so that I can add it to my Daphne's diary journal the next time I work in it. It may well be that I punch a hole and add some coordinating thread. I'm not sure yet. I also made this one here just on regular book paper, um, added a few splatters as well. So that's that one there. And then I made this one here as well. This one is just on regular craft um, cardstock. You can see that I've stitched around the edges and just added um, a little charm. This was the um, charm I made um, a couple of weeks ago during my flower pressing session. I'll leave the link to the video showing how I made these in the description box below. This was made with one of these stickers here which I got from Amazon in a pack. Um, it's a sticker so the idea is I'm not going to be able to do it now but you peel it up and then you can put your pressed flowers um, inside and then I've just um, glued it down with um, some tacky glue. I think that's really 
pretty as well. So, you know, just a couple of pieces of ephemera to add to my journals. I hope you've enjoyed this review of this Abu FX um, microwave flower press um, and that it's been honest and open with lots of, you know, safety guidelines for you. I don't think this is the type of flower press that you would gift to a child. I think this would need to be used with adult um, supervision. As I've said, do not ever be tempted to put it in for longer bursts than are recommended. You've got to do lots of short bursts with this. But, you know, with a little bit of patience, you can press a huge amount of flowers in a very, very short space of time and then work on them straight away, as I've done here. So I think this is an absolutely wonderful device. Um, much prefer it to the microfleur for the reasons that I've, I've stated. And for anybody who's got a microfleur, um, do let me know your opinions in the description box below. You know, I don't want to be mean or, you know, give disinformation. I am speaking as I find. I just want my reviews to be open and, and honest. But I hope you found this um, helpful. Of course, I'll leave the um, links to where you can buy this one from if you're interested in the description box below. As I've said, um, this is the larger size. This is the nine inch. They also do a slightly smaller one, which is 6.3 um, inches square as well. Again, it's got the rounded corners as this one, this one here. Um, but, you know, I just think for the money, this one here is 39.99 and the smaller one I think is, is 25. So compared to the microflow, I think it's absolutely brilliant value for money. Um, but, you know, if you've enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.